Antietor Facts Unveiled. Welcome back, nature enthusiasts, to another episode of Blaze Wildlife Wild Wonders. I'm your host, Blaze Wildlife, and today we're delving deep into the world of antiators. These remarkable creatures have some incredible facts waiting to be uncovered. So get ready for a fact-filled adventure. Did you know that there isn't just one antiator species? There are four main species of antiators, the giant antiator, the silky antiator, the tamandua, and the northern tamandua. The giant antiator's tongue can extend up to two feet, making it one of the longest tongues in the animal kingdom. It's not just long, it's also sticky, perfect for capturing ants and termites. Antiators are true insectivores. A single giant antiotor can consume up to 30,000 ants and termites in a single day. That's one hungry critter. Believe it or not, antiators have no teeth. They rely solely on their long tongue and strong jaws to break down their insect prey. The tamandua has a prehensile tail that acts like an extra limb. It helps them grip branches as they move through the trees, earning them the nickname tree antiators. Speaking of trees, silky antiators are exceptional climbers. They navigate the treetops with ease, searching for their favorite meals, which include insects, nectar, and even small vertebrates. The giant antiator's distinctive black and white stripes serve a purpose beyond aesthetics. They act as camouflage in the tall grasses and forests, helping them blend in with their surroundings. Antiators have an elongated snout that houses their tiny nostrils. They use this snout to sniff out insects hiding in the ground. Antiators are not known for their speed. In fact, they are quite slow on land, but become more agile swimmers when necessary. Antiators have a low reproduction rate. They typically give birth to a single offspring, known as a pup, after a gestation period of around 1 to 90 days. Antiators have a simple stomach and an inefficient digestive system, which means they have to consume a large number of insects to meet their energy needs. Tamanduas are primarily nocturnal, which means they are most active during the night. This behavior helps them avoid daytime heat and potential predators. Antiators are generally quiet animals. They communicate with each other through body language and soft vocalizations. Unfortunately, antiators face conservation challenges due to habitat loss and illegal wildlife trade. Conservation efforts are crucial to protect these unique creatures. Now here's a quiz question for our listeners. Which antiator species is known as the tree antiator and is an excellent climber? Pause the episode, write your answer in the comments, and I'll reveal the correct answer shortly. All right, adventurers, the answer to our quiz question is the tamandua. They are indeed known as tree antiators and are skilled climbers in the treetops. That's a wrap on our antiotor adventure. I hope you've enjoyed uncovering these fascinating antiotor facts with us. Remember, the wild is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Stay curious and join me next time on Blaze Wildlife Wild Wonders. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support our mission of wildlife education and conservation. Until then, keep exploring and stay wild.